Yo, what's up, everybody? What do we have here? We're going in a whole nother direction. Yo, what's up, everybody? Yep, we're back here in the garage with Brzezicki Brothers Performance. And uh, we're about to uh, be doing some uh, more mods on uh, Coyote Swap Fox. So, we're going to go over that. Let's have it. So, as you've seen, <clears throat> this is going to be my new fuel setup that I'm going with. Um, as you know, before we even drive it, we're already starting to mod it. So, this is the Coyote Swap Fox. This is my personal fox body. And we're about to be pulling the gas tank out. Now, I needed a new gas tank anyway, actually. And now that I'm going in a different direction, um, I opted for a gas tank I found on Marketplace. So we're draining the fuel right now. That's my fuel filter right there. Big four fuel filter. And we're gonna drop this tank. Um, we'll take a look. We got some new straps too. We got the hookup, um, and I'm going to use these straps on my convertible. So we got the fuel draining. We're going to, uh, start taking out the tank here soon. And I'm going to go over the setup that I'm going with. So I figured now that I'm adding the supercharger that I never thought I would do for a while but I have one come into my hands and the fuel setup that I have I don't think was going to be enough um, right now I got a 340 stealth in a tank without one of them quantum fuel pump hangers with the and lines and I was going to try and use a 525 Hellcat pump or whatever 450 Hellcat pump but I don't think that would have been enough. Um, it might have been close and probably been struggling at times. So I needed a new tank. This tank popped up at the right time. And it's actually, a, um, I guess it's a 0304 Cobra Fox body tank where it doesn't have the hole up in there. And it's made specifically for a Fox body where I, I shouldn't have to mod the filler neck hole. Um, so this gas tank popped up on Marketplace and I was like, well, I got to change the fuel pump setup. This is a perfect opportunity. And he had with it, um, we'll see how they fit brand new fuel tank straps, all powder coated. So we're going to use them. Um, and now that we're going with this style tank. We had to get a gasket, um, whatever it is, 99 to 04 gasket, um, brand new tank, and it's even powder coated, gray, uh, came, came with the vent, so this is what the tank's looking like, and this is the tank that's going in. 03 Cobra Fox body specific gas tank. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what brand it is, um, but I got a deal on it almost half off and basically brand new. And it was in within a driving distance, so we picked it up. And now we should have more enough fuel. For when we add the supercharger on, uh, we're still gonna run all motor with this and see what it, you know, how it does. Cause um, I don't have everything for the supercharger yet. Uh, I figured I might as well get the fuel system up and going, and then we'll eventually get everything, all the parts and everything for the supercharger. Uh, we'll have a couple more videos, but this is the four double pump setup. I'm, I'm running. Uh, I'm gonna be running two 450s. So this came pre-assembled, um, 
I don't have the fuel level sender. My fuel level sender won't work, so I had to get one, um, like an O3 Cobra style. Um, so I got the hookup from Lethal Performance, hooked me up, um, ordered these and shipped them right out. Within a few days, I had them. So that's the part number right there. Uh, you'll need the fuel level, and I mean, this comes off the bracket anyway this metal bracket you won't really need anyway because it will go on to here um, it will go into depth i'll show you a little bit of a wiring video so this yellow wire right here will go to this yellow wire right there and that's about it inside the pump and that will clip onto here and then we'll slide it in the tank um run the wires up put some sleeving or wrap around them and everything, make it look nice. And then we went with the um, F2C controller. We're gonna be running that. So this is pretty simple. Uh, plug and play basically, and the only power wire you run to this is basically, since I have the Ford Racing Control Pack, the fuel pump wire running to the fuel pump now, well I have it run into the inertia switch first, and then off of there, I'll have it run into this hole right there. Um, and then we opted for the upgraded circuit breaker because we've had problems uh, on my brother's car with the uh, normal fuse. You know, it gets too hot and melts and uh, the circuit breaker will at least flip off and hold the power a little bit better. Um, basically plug and play for the uh, fuel pumps. So wire into here and then plug them into here and then the power and ground um i'm sure you could probably even remove this and just run this straight to it or you know i guess you could use this out i'll be just using a quick disconnect on it that it came with and, uh, a little heat shrink for the uh crimps so this is the fuel system um these are the uh, 450s. Um, we got the uh, eight and feed and six and return because that's what I have all uh, PTFE lines running to the front of the car. So I'll also be E85 capable now too. Not that I wasn't now, but um, some of the stuff, injectors and stuff in the fuel pump uh, definitely probably weren't gonna be enough. And then this comes with the bolts that will bolt it down that gasket will go on before and go right in there and then that's the fuel setup we're going to be running for the meantime two 450s basically almost the whole four fuel system since I have a regulator and filter already enough and the fuel lines uh but i'll be changing the fuel lines out to other ones um almost slimmer similar to the ones that are on here now but i can't reuse these ones so that's what's going down so that's what's going down uh we're about to uh start putting together this fuel tank, get the other fuel tank out, um, and then we'll have to wire it in and make sure everything's tight and buttoned up, and we'll uh, go over that in uh, some of the next videos. So till then, keep hitting them like, share, and subscribe buttons, and keep tuning in, and I'll catch you on that next video. Peace.